Hi, welcome back folks, thanks for tuning in. I've designed this very, very small, awkward space for a client. Every landscaper can say that, well, we only do massive jobs. We do all jobs, really. We're quite excited about these awkward to use, unloved spaces that can be seen from inside the house. If you follow me, I'll talk you through it. The clients had a major problem with their damp in their house and they wanted to change these windows so they could get more light into their living quarters. That left a big mess down the side of the house. It was unloved and un really unusable and they had no idea what they could do with it. So we had a few challenges, not to interfere with the damp proofing at the side of the house, which as you can see with the elevations um, is a quite a complex task. And also a minimal use of pallet and without being too extravagant on materials, we, we wanted to use simple natural materials and, and maximize the use of the space. These aren't ordinary rail sleepers, these are French oak rail sleepers. We love distressing sleepers, but I don't think that we've distressed these. We've enhanced them, we've actually sculpted the outside shape and we've expressed the joints and the splits and the natural deviations in the timber to make it look uh, a lot older than it actually is. We've tried to make it look slightly more uh, oriental or indeed Japanese with some of the plants that we've got. The planting scheme was quite deliberate and that was dictated to us by what actually grows in this garden and there's, as the client has a fascination and love for ferns and, and the Japanese that's why we went for these splenium, scolopendrium, ver various different types of ferns and as a pachysandra terminalis. Some of the stones that we've used, they're from Country Supplies and they're just standard rockery boulders. We call them incidental stones and they just add to the character of the space. As you can see, there's stepping stones through the scheme that take you to the top, which are broken York stone in a riven finish. The whole premise of this space is so the client can use water butts because they like to take the rainwater off the roof and, uh, and put it into the the garden so two large water butts and to obscure the garden from the front garden because this is a side garden don't forget there's some big screens in the kaplunk design by screens with envy which which look quite lovely if you want to examine the detail you can see that we've expressed the joints in some of the timbers we've planed them we've sanded them in the spring when the weather is a little bit more forgiving we're going to come back and we're going to stain these up in a, a textural color probably a honey color to give them a rich feel i've been carl harrison thank you for tuning in and I look forward to answering any questions should you have any later on. Bye-bye.